Well, we've had a good stretch of weather so far this week. Yeah, it was a little warmer on this Wednesday, but we've managed to avoid the muggy conditions. Now, that is going to change, so the humidity returns, and it will be a bit unsettled over the next few days. As we have alluded to a few times this summer, this type of pattern, timing and location of these clusters of storms and thunderstorm complexes, always a bit uncertain. The model data struggles with that, so that can have an impact on temperatures and obviously conditions and a few storms, uh, strong storms uh, possible as we roll into the day tomorrow. More on that in a second. Speaking of severe weather, a bit up around Chicago land, we're looking good here in the bluegrass. Uh, you can see our bluegrass pace here, Scabby HD camera network kicks in fronts and cam. You see downtown Lexington off in the distance, a little bit more in the way of Hayes with our Hicks and Funson camp. We're at 87, so making a run at the 90 degree mark southwest winds at about 5 to 10. Most locations uh, at least at or maybe slightly below average, especially into southern Kentucky. Farther east you go, air's a bit drier with those upper 50 dew points, but most locations along and west of I-75, more low to mid 60s you get out into far western Kentucky, western Tennessee, where that southerly flow really picking up as high pressure departs to the east. And that's where you got your humid air and the big difference between the actual air temperature and the feel like you see 100 plus across far western Kentucky and western Tennessee. Area of low pressure moving into the northwestern part of Illinois, and that's driving the train along with a boundary for some additional uh, thunderstorms up to our north late this evening and overnight. As high pressure gives way, that return flow picks up. I think we're good this evening. Uh, it'll be warm, of course, but humidity levels won't be off the chart, so another nice one out there for outdoor plans. Now, future cast, we start out tomorrow morning, upper 60s, low 70s feeling a lot more like summer. Notice our in-house data does not have a lot of activity. I do think the stuff to our north will probably lay a bit of a boundary down, and that'll be the focal point for additional storm development tomorrow afternoon. Areas that do not see much of any in the way of rainfall probably running close to the 90 degree mark for afternoon highs and then you factor in the humidity and we could have some heat indices mid to upper 90s. Here's the uh, severe outlook for the day tomorrow. Level one and two, the level two in yellow, that's up I-75 and out I-64 and the Mountain Parkway, north and east and southeast of Lexington, the rest of the area, level one. Damaging winds, heavy rain, the primary threat as we have seen of late to go along with some hail, the tornado threat really low. Now this boundary, that's going to drive everything tomorrow and then it will sink to our south and we should actually be in a little better shape. I think more isolated activity as we uh, run into the upper 80s to around 90. So Friday, not bad, but then the issue to begin the weekend is another front approaches from the west. So that's going to increase our chances to kick off the weekend. But one of those 50-50 deals where we see uh, hopefully a little more drier air for the second half of the weekend. High pressure gives way, big bubble of heat down south and out west. Upper level system over southern Canada, so we are just in that favored area with a northwest flow. Rounds of storms developing to our northwest and then moving into the Ohio Valley. Muggy meter. Obviously, we're going to jump back into that humid air, although you see a bit of a dip on Friday and again on Sunday, and those may be our best days over the next uh, five to seven days as far as lack of rainfall chances. 71 overnight, warm, muggy. We'll see an isolated storm late. I think the better chance comes tomorrow, 89. A little breezy southwest winds at 10 to 15. Extended forecast tomorrow and Saturday. They're your best chances, a little less of a chance on Friday. and. Uh, Sunday, Monday, actually trending drier, so that's good news for the second half of the weekend. Temperatures running into the upper 80s, and then uh, another boundary heads our way middle part of next week with more rain and storms and highs into the mid-80s.